Hello everyone, welcome back to Watch Me Cook. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button down below. Today we are making Korean beef tacos, so let's get started. First we'll be making the beef marinade, so let's grab a small bowl and add 2 tablespoons of brown sugar or use a sugar substitute, 2 tablespoons of reduced sodium soy sauce or tamari. If you don't have any reduced sodium soy sauce and you just want to use tamari to keep it gluten free, just add a little bit of water to it and that's always worked for me. 1 teaspoon of sesame oil, a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper, a pinch of ground ginger, and just mix all this up and set this aside. Next, we'll be prepping our kimchi for another step later. If you don't have any on hand, you can purchase this in most Asian stores. Okay, so we're going to be chopping this as small as possible. Think of this as you're going to feed this to a small child and you don't want them to choke on it, so you're gonna just chop, chop, chop. Rotate, chop, chop, chop. Keep rotating and chopping. And when you think you're done, you're probably not, so keep chopping. And once you're finally done, you can go ahead and set this on to our next step. For the ground beef, we're going to need two teaspoons of vegetable oil, two cloves of minced garlic, and eight ounces of ground beef. First, we'll let the skillet heat up, add our two cloves of minced garlic in there, and cook that for a minute until it's fragrant, and then add your ground beef into it. While you are cooking the ground beef, make sure you break it up into small pieces until it crumbles. Once the ground beef is done cooking, we're going to go ahead and add that marinade that just mix it up because that brown sugar has probably settled into the bottom of the bowl by now. But pour that in and let it caramelize for a few minutes. Now let's bring our kimchi into the pan. You can use the same pan or you can use a different one. I would use the same one just because, again, that extra dish. You just don't want that. So let's add two teaspoons of sesame oil, one teaspoon of sugar or sugar substitute to keep this diabetic friendly, and your kimchi. We're going to saute this for a few minutes until it gets translucent. Now in order to do that, keep your pan at like a medium to medium high heat setting. We're gonna cook this for a few minutes. You're gonna visibly see the change in your cabbage. It's gonna become more see-through. So we're gonna saute this for a few minutes, keep moving it around, get that sesame oil all over your kimchi at the same time. And you're gonna wanna keep moving this because otherwise you're gonna have your kimchi burning on the bottom of your pan. So constantly move this for a few minutes and then once you see that everything's translucent, you're done. The last thing we need to make is our sauce. Add one quarter cup of mayo, one tablespoon of sriracha, and two teaspoons of lime juice. I prefer to add a little bit of more sriracha because I like mine spicy, but up to you, just add to your preference. Okay, we made it, we're finally done. Now it's time to assemble our tacos. So, Koreans generally like to eat our meat with lettuce. So, this is optional, this wasn't a part of the recipe, but I chopped up some lettuce and I put it on the bottom layer, and then I added on the beef and the kimchi, and then your chopped red onions. You can use cilantro or green onions if you'd like. Top it off with your sauce, just drizzle it on top, and you're done. And let's get to plating this. I know it took a lot of steps to get to the end of this meal, but it'll all be worth it. If you like this recipe, please like and subscribe, and I'm going to leave that recipe link in the description box below. Until the next meal, thank you for watching.